magic school bus. So, class, we've traveled from Earth, around the sun, and now we are on our way to... Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. When I tell my class, they're going to be so jealous. Wow, we're landing! <laughs> of course. Told you, Janet. We hardly weigh anything compared to my old planet Earth. I wonder if that means there's less gravity pulling on us here. Exactly, Keisha. Good thinking. <laughs> Come along, class. Follow the bouncing lizard. This way, please. <laughs> Bet I can jump higher than you, Dorothy Ann. You're on. I won first place in my class jumping contest. Here's my blue ribbon to prove it. Wait till I tell my class I won the jumping contest on Mercury, too. But you know what they're going to say? What? Prove, prove it. it. How on earth? I mean, how am I going to prove I was on Mercury? Man, the aliens on Mercury sure make big footprints. Nothing can live on Mercury, Ralphie. It's too hot and dry during the day. And according to my research, way below freezing at night. And day or night, there's no air, which makes it extremely difficult to breathe. Well, something had to make tracks this big. Something did, Ralphie. Meteorites. Hmm. Meteorites are pieces of stone or iron that fall from space. Come along, class. If the ones that hit the planet are called meteorites, what do you call the ones that miss? What? Meteorites! <laughs> wow! Janet, what are you doing? Hey, watch it! Eureka! My very own meteorite! When I show this to my class, it'll prove I was on Mercury! Oh, Janet. <laughs> <laughs>